Ever found yourself wondering how that simple sheet of paper came into existence? Paper, a seemingly mundane object, is an integral part of our daily lives. It's in our books, our offices, even our coffee cups. Yet we often overlook its significance, rarely pausing to ponder its origins. But behind every sheet of paper there's a captivating tale of transformation. Today we unravel the fascinating journey of how paper is made, from tree to sheet. It all starts with a tree, but not just any tree. The paper-making process typically employs the use of softwood trees like spruce, pine, and fir. These types of trees are chosen for their long, strong fibers, which are key ingredients in crafting durable, high-quality paper. The trees aren't randomly picked from a forest, though. They're grown in carefully managed tree farms, where they're nurtured until they reach a certain age and size. These farms help to ensure a sustainable supply of trees for paper production, without depleting our precious natural forests. Once these trees have grown to their full potential, they're harvested. This is no small task. It involves heavy machinery and careful planning to ensure that the trees are cut down safely and efficiently. These trees, once fully grown, are cut down and sent to a paper mill, marking the beginning of a remarkable transformation. At the paper mill, the real magic begins. Here, our humble tree logs begin their extraordinary transformation into paper. First things first, the logs are stripped of their bark. This is known as debarking. The bark, while it serves its purpose in nature protecting the tree, is not needed in the papermaking process. What we're interested in is the wood beneath the bark. Once the logs are debarked, they are chipped into small pieces. Imagine a bag of wood chips, but instead of being used for a barbecue, these chips are destined to be paper. These tiny pieces are easier to work with and break down further in the upcoming steps. Now that we have our wood chips, it's time to cook them. But this isn't your ordinary cooking. The chips are placed in a massive container known as the digester. In this digester, the chips are cooked under high pressure and temperature. The purpose of this step is to break down the wood into its basic elements. This process is similar to cooking a pot of soup. When you cook soup, the heat breaks down the ingredients into a liquid broth. Similarly, when the wood chips are cooked, they break down into a substance called pulp. But what exactly is pulp? Pulp is a mushy, fibrous substance that forms the foundation of paper. It's made up of tiny wood fibers. These fibers are the building blocks of paper. The cooking process doesn't just create pulp, though. It also removes a substance called lignin from the wood. Lignin is a natural glue that holds the wood fibers together. But in paper making, we want our fibers to be free and flexible, so we need to remove the lignin. And there you have it. That's how logs are transformed into pulp. It's a process that combines science, technology, and a dash of magic to turn something as solid and rigid as a tree into something as flexible and versatile as paper. What emerges from this process is a mushy, wet pulp, the raw material for making paper. And that's where we'll pick up in our next scene. Now that we have our pulp, it's time to turn this mush into paper. The transformation begins with a thorough washing of the pulp. This is an important step that ensures any lingering impurities are completely removed. Imagine giving the pulp a nice relaxing bath if you will. It's dunked, swirled and rinsed until it's as clean as a whistle. Next comes the bleaching process. Now don't be fooled by the term. We're not trying to turn our pulp into a platinum blonde. This is all about removing any remaining color from the wood. The pulp is treated with chemicals that work to break down the dyes, leaving behind a bright white pulp. It's a bit like using a stain remover on a stubborn spot of dirt on your favorite shirt. Once the pulp is squeaky clean and bright white, it's time for the draining process. The wet pulp is spread onto a large wire screen, not unlike a massive sieve. The water drips away, leaving behind a damp layer of pulp on the screen. But we're not done just yet. The pulp then goes through a pressing process. Heavy rollers squeeze out any remaining water, compressing the pulp into a thinner layer. It's akin to ironing a crumpled piece of clothing, smoothing out the wrinkles and pressing it into a neat flat surface. And finally, it's time for the grand finale, the drying process. The now thin layer of pulp is passed through large heated cylinders. As the moisture evaporates, the individual fibers in the pulp start to bond together, solidifying into a sheet. It's a bit like baking a cake. The heat transforms the wet batter into a firm, delicious treat. And just like that, the pulp transforms into a thin, crisp sheet of paper. This humble sheet, born from a mixture of water and wood chips, is now ready to embrace words, drawings and ideas, turning them into tangible expressions of human thought and creativity. 
So why go through all this trouble for a sheet of paper? You may wonder. Well, the importance of paper in our society can hardly be overstated. Imagine a world without it. Paper is a versatile material that serves various purposes. It's a crucial tool in education, aiding the spread of knowledge and learning. From textbooks to notebooks, paper allows us to record, share and preserve information across generations. It's also a medium for communication, enabling us to connect with each other no matter the distance. Think of all the letters, newspapers and magazines that have shaped our history and culture. Moreover, paper is used in art, offering a canvas for creativity and self-expression. It's a fundamental component in packaging too, protecting goods and making transportation easier. And that's just scratching the surface. There are countless other ways paper contributes to our lives. Despite the digital age, the demand for paper remains strong, making its production an essential industry. So there you have it, the fascinating journey of paper, from the whispering forests where our story began, with the humble tree, the primary source of this everyday miracle we call paper, the tree is transformed into wood chips, which are then transformed into a pulpy soup, the raw material that will soon become paper. The pulp is meticulously cleaned, bleached and drained of water before being rolled into large paper reels. These reels are then cut into the familiar sheets of paper that we use every day. Each step in this journey is a testament to human ingenuity and our ability to harness nature's resources. But knowing this process is not just about appreciating the magic of paper, it's about understanding the resources that go into creating every single sheet. It's about realizing that every piece of paper was once a part of a living, breathing tree. This understanding can lead us to more conscious consumption. Instead of wasting paper, we can use it wisely, knowing the journey it took to get to us. And when we're done with it, we can recycle it, giving it a new life, and helping to conserve our precious forests. Next time you hold a sheet of paper, remember the journey it took from tree to sheet, and don't forget to recycle.